So very good afternoon to one and all. Good afternoon, children. Welcome to the e-learning classes. Uh, today we are going to discuss about intermediate second year economics, tenth chapter, Telangana economy. And our today's topic is industrial sector in Telangana. In our previous uh, um, topic, we discussed about the agriculture sector in Telangana. So this is the secondary sector, children. So about the Telangana. State of Telangana have the large number of industries. In Telangana, we find that a large number of industries comprises from the drugs industries, drugs and pharmaceutical, that is medicine prep, uh, preparation, preparing industries, uh, industries children, followed by agro uh, processing industries, uh, mineral uh, based industries are their children, then uh, followed by cement industries, textile industries, apparel, apparel industries and so on. The Telangana ranks, Telangana Telangana ranks sixth, sixth in the in the country for the sake of industries. Telangana ranks sixth in the country for industry, and Telangana ranks eighth in the country for the sake of GVA gross value added, gross value added from industry. Okay, children. Telangana ranks 6th in the country for the case of industries and 8th position in the country for getting GVA from the industries. Then the share of uh, <coughs> industrial sector, share of industrial sector to GVA, okay, to GVA children. So at the current prices and also at the <coughs> constant prices. So share of industrial, uh, what do you call, <coughs> sector to GVA in the year 2018 and 19, 2018 and 19, the share at the constant prices, it is 17.4 percentage, 17.4 percentage at the current prices and 19 point nine percentage at the constant price the share of industrial sector to gva beside this one children um, according to the survey that are conducted survey of industrial data children uh, in telangana state the number of industries that increased in telangana number of industries increased in Telangana children, again we have to go with some of the years, the year like for example 2008 and 9, 2008 and 9, <coughs> the number of industries that increased in Telangana, it is 7357, 7357 industries were the children in our Telangana and that increased to 2015 and 16. 2015 and 16. This number of industries increased in our Telangana. It is 12,353. 353. Such a big improvement in the industries, children, in Telangana that we find. Then the total GVA that we find for this industry, children, from the manufacturing unit. It increased the children 24. Now, when it comes for the GVA, when it comes for the GVA, the total GVA children, <coughs> it increased uh, <coughs> 24, 117 crores. 24, 117 crores. Okay. 24, 117 crores is the total GVA that we find. That increased to 44, 840. 44,840 crores. So this is an increase of children gross value added from the Telangana uh, industrial sector. Okay children. So this is the importance of Telangana children. So industrial sector, <coughs> Telangana <coughs> is having a large number of industries. Industries comprised from the various levels children. Pharmaceuticals, drugs, textiles, processing, agro-processing industries, mineral based industries, uh, apparel industry, like many industries are there children. Telangana ranks sixth in the country for the sake of industries and eighth in the country for the sake of gross value added to industries. 
the share of industrial sector to the gross value added children <coughs> 2018 and 19 <coughs> at the current 17.4% and the constant price is 19.9%. Number of industries increased in Telangana 2008 and 9, it is 7,357 and 2015-16 it increased to <coughs> number of industries increased to uh, 12,353. The total GBA contribution children from the, all the manufacturing unit 24,117 crores and 15-16 44,840 uh, crores. Now after this one we are having the next one that is MSME in Telangana. M S M E in Telangana that is micro small medium enterprises. So the next topic is micro small medium enterprises in Telangana. So children this is about the MSME, MSME sector in Telangana. MSME the full form of MSME is micro small medium enterprises. Micro small medium enterprises. Okay. So this enter, uh, MSME, it provides complementary products to large industries as ancillary units. Ancillary means as supportive units, means large industries children. They produce uh, big, big machines for example. So this micro, small, medium industries, they produce certain small, small products that will be useful for the large industries. For example, like nuts, bolts. Okay, something that are required for the machines to fit. So these industries will provide complementary products to large industry as a supportive units. And so means supportive units and contribute enormous to inclusive growth. So these industries they help for the growth children, MSME, important for two marks glossary children. Inclusive growth and regional balance of the state. So we can find that up to now what we discussed, the area where only large industries are there, that area develop. But when these small units, micro, small and the medium enterprise, when they are helpful for the large units, it is fetchful, it is helpful for these industries also to develop. And these industries are helpful for the growth of the economy of the country. Now, the micro industries, out of these three industries children, micro industry, small industry and the medium industry children, out of these three industries we find, micro industries contribute nearly about 58 percentage of the total units, largest sector in MSME. Its investment is very less, 11.92 percentage and the employment generation is children 30.12 percentage. It is the largest in total units. Coming to the small children, small units are having more investment, nearly about 63.45 percentage of investment. And the employment generation is 55.41 percentage. So this is about children MSME. Beside this MSME children, we have next to discuss children about the new industrial policy of Telangana. What is the new industrial policy of Telangana? So, uh, as you all know that Telangana state it formed in the year 2014, 2nd of June 2014. So in the same year 2014 only, the new industrial policy was launched children. New industrial policy for Telangana was launched children. Okay. In the year 2014. So in the year 2014, new industrial policy for Telangana. Okay. New industrial policy for Telangana was launched children. So what was this policy children? The vision. The vision of new industrial policy. It is research to innovation. Vision is research to innovation. Means research for what? To do certain invention. Okay. That innovation for what? To industry. So innovation to innovation to industries. Okay. Innovation to industries. And industries for what children? Industries to prosperity for the development. This is the vision of new industrial policy that was launched in the year 2014. Research for what children research to be done? For invention. Invention for what? For new industry. Industry for what? To develop the prosperity. The goal, the goal of the new industrial policy, it is innovate, incubate and incorporate. Innovate, 
incubate and incorporate and incorporate this is we can say as the goal for the new industrial policy of telangana then what is an objective of this new industrial policy the objective definitely when all these things are there children the objective should be good that is to provide business regulatory environment to provide business regulatory business should be in a continuous one regulatory environment to provide business regulatory environment for easy of doing business in the state for easy um, ease of doing business that means business should be in a very easy way easy of doing business in the state okay so this we can say as about the new industrial policy of telangana so what is this children 2014 new industrial policy was launched in telangana the vision of policy uh, is children research to innovate innovation innovation to industries industries to prosperity the goal innovate incubate and the incorporate objective to provide business regulatory environment and environment in telangana completely about the business and the regulation and the development of business so in this aspect only when the program was launched by telangana government called as ts i pass ts i pass now we are going to discuss about this also ts i pass <coughs> Now, children, this is about the TS I pass, Telangana State Industrial Project Approval and Self Certification System. This is very important, children. This is a new topic that is included this year. TS I pass, TS I pass, children. This is the system. What we are understanding that is a self certification system, children. That was introduced by the Telangana government. Self certification is introduced, and this is a introduced for the speedy process of application. Speedy process of application for issue of various clearances at single profit children as you all know that to uh, what you call uh, to get approval children a person has to uh, has to undergone through various approvals so this is a system where we can find that a person can go through through all these things and in a very easy way children he can get a self certification through the self certification he can get an approval that is ts i pass so what are the features children right to get industry clearances the ts i pass the first feature is the person who is going to start his uh, who is going to get children the self certification he is going to get a industry clearance yes this industry is free from the all the problem this industry can be established this industry is uh, free from the problem of the pollution cannot uh, um, give the what you call the pollution problem or any other problem like that just uh, easily then a uh, owner can get the industry clearance then uh this is a ts i pass it uh, approval is based on self certification by an applicant suppose if i am an applicant i have to mention a certification self cert that this is an industry that i'm going to start uh, it is not going to create any problem to the environment and so and so on and then i have to hand over that application to this ts i pass so what they do so this uh, they will pass it to the various departments nearly 30 clearances to 23 departments children are mentioned in this ts i pass number of attachment children no need to give number of attachment like this paper that paper this one that one only 10 attachments they have to keep when this policy was started at that time it was 1 10 attachments were there but now it reduced to 10 only children then the time timelines for clearance is compulsory when suppose as an applicant if i keep an application to the ts i pass i should get a timeline children they will they have to give me the timeline that when they are going to clear my approval so the timeline it starts from the one day <coughs> from one day to 30 day that set is time for one day to 30 days they have to give it then an industrial chasing cell a cell is created children this cell is created at the office of uh, chief minister to monitor from that chief minister and the other important offices they monitor the implementation of ts i pass children how the people they are doing not only that man suppose as an applicant i have the complete right to ask why there is a delay in clearances for my work okay and not only that children it is uh, find it out that the 
penalties are also imposed penalties means fines are imposed on to the officer who fail to accord clearances um, uh, in a limited time suppose <coughs> if the officer said that no your uh, work is going to clear in one day if it is delay in one day the officer has to pay a fine of rupees 1000 per day at present if he is promising that the work is completed by 30 days and if 30 days are crossed the officer has to pay the fine for 1000 per day so it is a very strict system and very good system that was started by the cm kcr k chandrashekar rao children in the state of telangana for helping the people to get the self certification to get the approvals of the business industrial projects so i hope industrial sector is clear to all of you so now next sector is left over that is service sector that we'll discuss in the next class so by the time thank you children thank you one and all thank you children